a CTV. Now guys, the match day vlogs are back and today we are going to Liverpool versus Chelsea at Anfield. I'm so excited for this game guys. I've got the match day vibes, you know. I'm feeling confident for it. It should be a good day, fingers crossed. And um, I'll say now, like, I'd be happy even if we got a draw. Obviously I want us Blues to win and we're gone out, obviously. But if we draw, it's not the end of the world. I just hope we really don't lose, you know. That'd be devastating. Um, but yeah, I am currently in Chester, so I'm gonna go and get some breakfast and have a few drinks in town. Um, and then I'm gonna get the train to Liverpool. Um, so yeah, it should be a good day. Um, it's currently 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm really excited. You guys know I always start with match days early. You make the full day of it, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy this vlog. Um, and yeah, let's go. I've been keeping myself so busy Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me I wanna be Chelsea. Two one Chelsea. Has our hat trick. Two one Chelsea. And you're going to Chelsea. Come and you play. All right, guys. I'm in the pub near Liverpool. Um, for Liverpool away. Um, so what's your name? Jimmy. Right. So what's the score prediction for today's game? Three one. Has right. Hazard double. So obviously it's a Hillsborough um, disaster and a Burnley tomorrow. Do you think they stand in? Should be introduced into Championship and Premier League football. Why? Yeah, hundred hundred percent. Why? I think if I think now I think 2019 we've moved on for Hillsborough. I think there's more security now, and it's already started in Scotland. They've got a bit in Tottenham now. I think it's a good idea. It brings uh, the atmosphere. So I think it's a it's a good idea, and in a way, it's a good idea. How would you feel if it was introduced into Sanford Bridge as a Chelsea final sound? Oh, I'd love it. I'd love it to be Sanford Bridge. Uh, I think it would be, uh, bring a bit more atmosphere to the, the ground. I think, I think standing does bring safe. I mean, you put most games in it, most fans stand anyway. So, it's, you may as well have a section that would cover it if people would want to stand. Then. Are you, uh, you safe to hold or remember? Huh? Are you a season ticket holder or a member? No, I'm just a member. So, if you had a chance, as I said, mentioned earlier, if there was a safe standing stand inside Sanford Bridge, would you choose to sit there out of all the stands available? So would you decide to sit in like the back of hard in the shed end, or would you sit in the safe standing stand? Safe standing. Would you? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it improves the atmosphere? I did, 100%. 100% proves the atmosphere in the game. Alright, thank you so much. Andy. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Okay guys, so I'm in the Liverpool away pub and um, before Liverpool away and so I've got Andy here. What's your score prediction for today, babe? I think two well my heart says two one, my head I'm not too sure. I'd say one. one. <laughs> okay. Four one, four one. What's your score Four picture? one. My four. name's Salah. Four one four Liverpool. One. Are yeah. you joking? I think Salah has a point to prove. So I think he's gonna be up for it. He's got his 50th goal now. He's gonna wanna He's got them because he's former club and all that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to ask a sensitive question now, and if you don't want to answer it, that's absolutely fine. But obviously, it's the anniversary of Hillsborough tomorrow. It's 30 years since. Do you think safe standing should be introduced into championship and football grounds? It's okay if you don't want to answer, but do you like it introduced? If, it, 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 if it's safe and you actually got allocated an area to stand and it's, and it's stupid as well, then it could be a... Babe, what, what about you? I don't think it's a good idea. Not in the Premier League and Championship. Why? That's not a good idea. Oh, well, that's Why? good. They're falling out between themselves. Safety? Yeah. yeah. Salah right. is scoring and he's shushing the Chelsea crowd. Okay, thank you so much for coming on. Okay, guys, I've got more fans in the Liverpool away pool. So I'm with Terry. What's your score predictions for Chelsea, Liverpool versus Chelsea today? It's going to be 2 0 Liverpool. Okay. Do you think safe standing should be introduced to Championship and Premier League football grounds? If it's stewarded correctly, yes. As a Liverpool fan yourself, yeah. how sensitive is that subject? It's, it's, it's all about the marshal and the security around the stadium. I mean, today, we're going to be in the cop, we're going to be standing all game. Yeah. So it depends how it's marshaled before the game. It's not to do with the actual, it's not to do with the crowd. It's, it's how it's organised beforehand. As a football fan myself, when I go to games and see away fans standing anyway, yeah. it just feels like a weird situation. Because, yeah, say standing isn't introduced to Premier League now, Stand anyway. You're gonna stand anyway today. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Fine with that. Fine with that. So it's suddenly you're are you a safety holder? I'm not. Are you a member? Yeah. So if you're stand that like you usually see was to become very present, you're standing, how would you feel? Fine with that. If it's organised correctly, if it's all done to regulation, safety and all that, it's fine. Alright, thank you so much. Okay guys, I'm with Paula in the Liverpool away pool and um, so she's a Liverpool fan, she's a season ticket holder and um, so what's your thought, what, what's your predictions for today's game, score prediction? Um, I think it's going to be 2-0 Liverpool. Oh really? That's so... I'm a Chelsea fan. I think it's going to be a really tight close city game. I think it could even be a draw or a win to Chelsea. <laughs> Like obviously five years ago today, Steven Gerrard slipped. I think it might be a win to Chelsea. <laughs> do you, do you no, not think? Not. Do you think Liverpool are going to win the league? Definitely. Oh. Right, and final question is, do you think champion, well, do you think safe standing should be introduced into championship and Premier League football? Um, yeah, as long as they, as long as they go over all the, the, um, the health safety precautions, then I don't see why not. And obviously it's the Hills Bride disaster anniversary tomorrow. Um, it's about a year, sorry guys, it's about a year since. So with the stand your season to come holder is in, do you, would you be happy for it to be safe standing? Um, probably only really happen in the cop. Yeah. Maybe not in the rest of the world. So and people can choose where they want to stand. And would you personally be happy if it was in the cop? If that's what people voted for. Alright, thank you so much for coming on. So guys, I'm with Josie for Alden and so what's your score predictions for Liverpool vs Chelsea today? What? Score predictions for Liverpool vs Score predictions, right. I'm not predicting any score because it's coming to end of the season now and I don't think we can do but I can see a most on the goal. Would you, right, 
So obviously it's a Hillsborough disaster anniversary tomorrow. Yeah. It's 30 years since. Would you would you personally like championship well, would you like save Sandy and introduce him to championship Premier League football? Goal? Yeah, of course we'll do. But why? Why? Because we we'll make it safe, but I think it's not necessarily like or oh, everyone has to see. I think it needs to be it needs to be restricted. It's all about the stewards. So you were just talking to me about Rotherham a minute ago and saying how you'd like it all to be safe standing. Yeah, so well, I, I, I'm from Rotherham, a Liverpool fan, but I'm from Rotherham. But like, uh, when I used to go and watch Rotherham play football, we had standing, but standing where it was safe, do you know what I mean? It weren't overcrowded, so it's not necessarily about where you sit. Or like, what you do, I mean, you could be, you could sit on a deck chair for all that there, yeah. but as long as it's safe, it's safe. And obviously what happened at Hillsborough, you need to make sure that people are safe. Obviously. You need to make, you need to make sure, first and foremost, you need to make sure that safe. Right. So if you had a safe standing seat for today's game against Chelsea... No, but it's not necessarily a seat, it's not necessarily a seat. It's what a safe. Stand? You can be sat on the deck chair, you can be sat on a fucking rooftop. As long as it's safe, it's safe. It's not about where you sat, where you stood. It's about how how safe it is, you know what I mean? So, and I think it has come on since it was like a disaster. And it, you know what I mean? We are improving, but there still needs to be a lot of done. And I think, as a Liverpool fan, like I've got a, obviously my heart's in Liverpool. I think Liverpool does still like hold that. Not necessarily a black card in there, but like they still get shit from there. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a joke. So you would personally like safe standing back in it at Anfield? I'd, I'd, like, I'd, like, I'd like safe standing back in Anfield. So guys, me and Dad are heading to Anfield now. Um, yeah, we've all some of the Chelsea fans. And um, so yeah, I'm feeling really nervous now. It's now till kick-off, nerve-wracking times. Score predictions, Dad? Um. I think it's going to be 2-1 to Chelsea because I just feel there could be some set up for Liverpool at this point of the season and history, you know, tends to repeat itself, so I'm going 2-1. I've personally predicted 2-1. Um, Pre-match thoughts, how do you think we'll get on? <coughs> be tough? It's going to be really tough. <laughs> you know, Liverpool have got an input this, you know, this is their chance now, you know. They've had it before, 2014, so if you're not going to... To oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> it was a fun. They're not going to slip again, but. Do you not uh, think they'll slip up again? Do you not think the pressure's going to get to them so much that they'll slip up won. again? City's won. So now the pressure's all on them. Scott, final score prediction? 2-1. I'm going 2 1 Chelsea. Coming new blues up the Chelsea. Thanks.
So guys, 63 minutes into the game, 2 0 Liverpool. Things have changed around very quickly for us, let's be honest. I mean, at half time it's 0 0. They've quickly got two goals back, and it's not good enough for us. We need to score. Absolute essential. We can't be 2 0 down against Liverpool. Like, inside the top of the table, I know, but this can't be happening. We've got to get some goals back. Very stressful game, very intense. Um, but fingers crossed we can get some goals. Ross Barkley and Pedro are warming up, so they might come on. Um, we just need to work with what we've got for now and try and score a goal, you know? That's a priority. It's going to be difficult. Liverpool play very well. They set up defensively, they set up tactically, the full team. And fingers crossed we can get a goal back. We need to, it's after the priority. Come and you blues up the shells. Bye. So, guys, 73 minutes in. Substitution. Ross Barkley on. Ruben got his cheek on. Um, obviously, Sabri has um, reasoning behind that. Um, so, we'll see what he can do. Um, but, yeah, I don't think much is going to change the game at this moment in time. Um, but, yeah, very interesting change. Just see what he can do. And it's a game where basically clinicalness will cost us. Um, we had a few chances and it was very important that when we come back in the second half we weren't as vulnerable as we've, as we've been in the past games and unfortunately we were and those two goals hit us at the worst time possible and unfortunately it's a well-deserved victory for Liverpool to be honest with you and I just feel like we weren't really trying as hard as we should be. And and unfortunately, this has been that type of season for us. We just don't have the players uh, to, that have the guts to actually pull off a victory or to pull off a, a comeback as often as we would like. And, and that's something Sari has to work on. What was your stance going into this game? How confident did you feel? And not that confident, if I'm honest with you. And I have The reason why is because I, I felt like Liverpool had a lot to prove to themselves. They are fighting for a title and it's a big deal to them. And, and obviously, because it's obviously the memorial of uh, uh, the 96 as well, it's, it's a big deal to them. I knew that it was not going to be uh, an easy game at all. And I feel like the Rudiger injury made things so difficult for us because after that, we did become very much more vulnerable at the back. We weren't passing at the back as comfortably as we were at the beginning. And we, we really struggled in that second half, especially at the beginning. And those two goals came at the worst possible time. And well, before this, we had four consecutive wins. We've lost against Liverpool. Yes. What are your hopes for the rest of the season? And also, are you Sarri in or Sarri out? I've, I've always been Sarri in. I'm, I'm, I'm long term and I want a long term manager. Same. I'm willing uh, to weather the storm. That, you get honest. it, you uh, get it. And at the end of the day, I expected a tough season, I'll be very honest. If we can win a Europa League and uh, get the last four games, I'll be very happy with that and hopefully we can build on that next season providing that the transfer ban doesn't affect us but we have got some youngsters out on loan that can really add some nice depth to the squad and I do feel like Sarri has uh, the capability as a manager to work with these players and actually make them really good players as well. So you hope for the rest of the season if you roll the league, yeah? Yeah. Do you think we'll get top four? I think it's possible. I, yeah. I do. I do feel like it's possible because then um, Arsenal's away record is not that great, and they have four away games still to go. And and obviously ourselves, we need to obviously have that Man United game in our hand. And if we beat Man United, I do feel like the other three games we can actually get results. Yeah. It's just we now need to make sure that these last four games we put our hearts on the line and we fight for it and get those twelve points and still win the Europa League. And that way we can say, look. It's not been the greatest this season, but at least we've, uh, we're back in European competition and it's the elite competition and we can build from there. So how are you feeling after today? I'm a bit disheartened because I honestly thought we were going to get at least a draw or a win today. You know what, based on the first half I thought we were potentially going to get away with a draw same, here. Same. And, and in the second half my only thing was please start in that first 10 minutes the way we mean to go on and we literally carry on from how we left off the first half. 
and, and unfortunately those two goals really really got to us especially the second I didn't even get a chance to see it I'm not gonna lie I actually missed the two goals me and dad were in the cold calls yeah and, literally well, I'm not sad about it to be honest but, but it, it's one of those things man it happens football is football you lose some games you win some games and this year is one of those games where uh, one of those years where we just have to weather the storm and really look at which players are going to carry us forward into long term. And I feel like Sarri is the right manager to try and do that way. And I do feel I do feel like he's starting to understand why we want the youth players really involved. Yeah, definitely. And I do feel like that's something he's going to go with going forward with a proper pro, uh, pre-season. Yeah. And that will definitely help him. We have to understand we've not really given him favorable circumstances. It's been really terrible for him. We've basically signed one player and loaned another player. And that's basically what we've done for him. And the rest is basically practically the same squad. And it's not the easiest. And I do feel like Hudson Adoy being there, Loftus Street being here, Emerson being really involved. I felt like, you know what, he's starting to learn certain things. He's starting to adapt. And that's all I really wanted from him in the beginning as well. All right, thank you so much, Kunabe. No Bye. problem, thank you. So, guys, it's ended. Liverpool 2. Um, Chelsea Mill here at Anfield. Now guys, I am a bit devastated, you know. It's not what we wanted. I expected us to win today and that just hasn't happened. <laughs> that, well, I shouldn't even be laughing. That's just happened. Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, so it's obviously lost the game. Devastating, 2-0. Not what we wanted at all. But it is what it is. We move on. Okay guys, so I'm outside Anfield and with Louis and Louis off 100% Chelsea. So what did you both think of the game? Bollocks. Same old, predictable <laughs> football. Look, for me, right, I was saying this to Louis earlier. In terms of, sorry, I was there going, oh, there's actually a little bit of development here. He's actually starting to change what he's doing and adapt to British games. Basically, he's kind of not done that and he decided to bring on Barkley and uh, Higuain. Obviously, really good. The injury, actually, can't really do a lot about that. But the it, this stuff didn't make any sense, and, and to be honest, it didn't, it didn't help us in the game. He, he, he was reacting to us going down rather than reacting to the game that was in front of him. No, sorry, sorry's game management today was poor, and I'm going to stand here and say it. But I think it just adds emphasis to the fact that this team is not good enough, and we've seen it on so many occasions this season. I feel like we're still going to see it before the end of the season. Top four is looking deader and deader by every away game I mean and there's and even when you look in terms of teams at home I think we've got four points against the top 12 away from home oh, we still, we still got to play United away from home as well we've not won against the top 6 away from home brilliant hey, I'm actually kind of still slightly optimistic just because they've been playing poorly recently but it's the hope that kills you yeah pretty much are you both sorry or not sorry now? I actually don't know your views on that I don't know. I, I understand both arguments, but for me, it's kind of a case of I'm there, like, I haven't really made my decision yet. Are you not fearing one way rather than the other? Surely you're like more sorry and not sorry out. Do you know what I mean? You're not, I, uh, you know, are you? You just I, I would phone. pass this on to Lewis, who understands where I come from. <laughs> when I say stuff. Am I leading at all, or am I fairly even? I'd say you're even because you've got fair criticisms on both sides. Yeah. I'm still sorry, and um, I've been defending him all season. I've been defending him all season, so I'd be a hypocrite if I turned on him now. But he needs one season. He's been brought into a mess, and he just hasn't really had any time to change. That mess, that mess isn't going to change that because of the transfer ban. When not if it comes in, and obviously the other stuff. But at the end of the day, he needs to adapt as well. You yeah. can't just be the ball has to adapt to the ball. So everyone is to blame at Chelsea for what's going on. That goes from, from the players all the way through the staff, all the way up to the board. So, obviously, at Cardiff away, we won 2-1, yep. we scraped the win. Yep. How did you feel about the Chelsea fans singing Sarri out? I thought that was ridiculous. There's 11 players on the pitch at the end of the day, it's not just the manager. You know what I mean? I hate how everything always comes back to the manager. There's 11 players on the pitch, why are the fans singing Sarri out? I know it's a little bit like a while ago now, but still. Again, this is this is where my on the fenceness comes in. <laughs> so I understand why the fans were singing "Sorry Out." I I I, I think that hardly there's some of the stuff I agree with. However, Lewis has made the point already that this is a project and this is a development. Mm. The issue comes down to the board not coming out and saying he's here for the long haul, here to develop our team, here to develop our philosophy. He's gone. He's here to change the philosophy. 
I think that's a read between the lines of does he mean for one year, three years, whatever it is. And at the end of the day, because of how Chelsea fans are so used to the, this development of success, um, I'm, I'm not saying that they expect it. I think I think that's the wrong thing. Because I don't. I think a lot of fans are just sort of happy to be in the position they're in. But I think that there is a lot that needs to be decided. But yeah, and you know, I, I th it's difficult. It's really difficult. I, I like. I, I I agree with it, but I also disagree with it. Uh, for me, I, I can't even be on the fence in that one. I'm sick into what I said. Sorry's first season. You can't. You can't chant. We want sorry out. When I think even statistically we're still having a better season than last season. I mean it's still a poor season, no, but we are. I swear statistically we're we are. we're like nine points off of where we were last season, okay. and we scored less goals and we've conceded more. Okay, but my point is that we still have to change this philosophy. Oh. Sorry, has been going to mess. If you do those chants, you do those chants. You Why are you saying it to me? I'm not doing it. Oh no, because I'm just talking to you, isn't it? But. You've put those chants out against Sari, but you don't put that out against anything else. So the rest of the football world, all you're saying is to blame is Sari's. Sari is not to blame. Maybe in two, maybe next season, maybe the season after, it's the same old yeah. shit. I get yeah. it. First season, you can't turn on Sari like that, regardless. Final question. Do you both think we're going to get top four? Yes or no? Louis, do you not really? No. Why? Because we're shit. Do you think we're going to win? How well do you think we're going to do in the Europa League? Semi-finals. Do you think? Yeah. Do you not think we're going to win it? No. Oh, Louis! I, 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 I set my standards low, and then if we go over the top of it, I'm, I'll be happy. Tried but and tested, I respect that. It is a tried and tested method. And <laughs> it is, you, set, you set your aspirations low, so at least you're not disappointed. <laughs> exactly. I rate that, I rate Live that. life to the fullest. <laughs> Be positive, and that's me being negative. To, no, I'm being negative to be positive. It's it's a proven. Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't think we'll make top four. If we make top four, the two teams that are below us are fucking shit. Whoever out of those three are, they're fucking shit. If they if we manage to finish above them, because our record away to the top six has been poor as well. We could win the Europa League. I mean, we're still one of the favourites, but that semi final does look a little bit. Testy. I mean, it is. It is, it is. You are got Frankfurt or Benfica. Benfica scored. Well, there's that Felix kid. Yeah. He scored a hat trick against Eintracht Frankfurt. If you get Eintracht Frankfurt, you've got the two highest, well, you've got the highest scoring strike partnership in World Cup against you. <laughs> and against our defence, based on what we're seeing at the minute, that's going to look great. But um, I, I understand why the bookies put us in favourites, but I think that just comes down to name. I don't think that comes down to ability. Uh, if we don't... If we don't even make Europe, here's the thing: if we don't win the Europa League, we don't deserve Champions League football mm. anyway. So I'm just going to leave it at that. We don't deserve Champions League. Full stop. We we gonna we get spanked in the Champions League. <laughs> I only want Champions League for the slight possibility of keeping Eden Hazard and the money that comes with it. That's fair. Bar that, I can I would accept being out the top four because it is still a transitional season. Yeah. And do you think Eden Hazard is going to stay in the summer? No. Well, with that, <laughs> with that football, <laughs> we're meant to be trying to persuade to him to stay, and we're playing like that. He's gone. You know, you, you, do there's you like, think? Like, Eden Hazard is literally, he's Moses. If, you, if you've read the biblical passage, he's literally the guy who's there splitting the Red Sea. But instead of having people go through, you've got Ross Barkley running into the water and drowning. Going through. If, it was, if we're putting on that, no one else would be moving. This is just exactly. A, this is depressing me. I was it's, already I'm, depressed. It's, it's real. That's, 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 I'm, I'd rather be real with people than have this whole positive <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, Fair enough. That. All right, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having us. So. So, guys, I'm with the guys of Cheeky Sport TV. Yes, Cheeky Sport Joel here. How you doing, man? Yay! Um, so, how are you feeling about today's game? What's How am I feeling today, about today's game? You know what? I'm very impressed with Liverpool, I'll tell you that for sure. I think it was very even. Uh, it was 50-50 in the first half, even though well, maybe Liverpool edged it a little bit. But then as the, the second half came in, Liverpool just stepped it up. Great goal by Mane, great cross by um, Hendo. And of course that second one by Salah. Man, that could be the, the, the goals that decide Liverpool's uh, season really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think Liverpool are going to win the league? I still reckon it's with City, man. Do you? Yeah, man, because the way Raheem's playing, um, you know, and they've got so much reinforcement. So even when people are injured, you've still got Jesus. Uh, oh, you've still got you still got Jesus. It's all good. You've still got Jesus. And yeah, for me, it's, um, it's, it's, it's for cities to lose, man. Are 
are you Man United or Arsenal? I'm an Arsenal fan, right. man. How do you, you know think? I mean? Where do you think Arsenal are going to finish? Hey, the first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to us because we did the business at home against oh. Napoli. We just got to go. Across, we just got to go to Italy, complete the job, and that's it. And uh, where will Arsenal finish? Fourth. We'll get fourth. Do you think, do you think Chelsea will get top four? <laughs> As an Arsenal fan, don't be do biased. Do I think Chelsea will get top don't four? Don't be biased. Nah, I don't think you will because you guys are on 66 points at the moment. Arsenal, we've got two games to go. Um, Nah, I don't see it, man. And, and and if you don't, it's not because you're not good enough. Because when I saw you guys, especially in the first half, I thought, what a squad. Mm. But you just need to get it right, man. It's just something that's not clicking at the moment. And hopefully Hazard stays for you. Do you think Savvy should stay or Savvy should go? I'm Savvy in as a Chelsea fan, personally. I, I'm not a fan of sacking a manager. Maybe you should stay because it shows the players that, look, you've got to come back. I just think I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do anything because the manager's not going to be there. So uh, yeah, hopefully he stays and it kind of it changes the Chelsea philosophy. And do you think Hazard will stay or go? Ah, he's gone, mate. Do you think? Ah, he's gone. He's out of think... it. He's, he's he's already wearing a Real Madrid shirt. Do you think he'll be? Do you, will you personally be sad as an Arsenal Of course, no. Do you know why? Premier because League. I like him. I like him as yeah. a person. Uh, I think he's amazing, man. He really is. Yeah. Uh, Hazard's one of the best players. One of the best players around. All right, thank you so much for coming thank on, Dolph. Thank you. Dolph. I think I'm really sure that my Uber just. Oh. And thank you so much. And make sure to subscribe to Cheeky Spa. Yes. Cheeky Spa. I think I've just missed miss my Uber for this. Bye. 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 Emma CNT. Emma C S C T V. Emma. C you say it, and I'll Emma just say. Emma C S C T V. Emma C Emma C S C T V. Okay. I'll do it when. Emma C S C T V. Yes, subscribe. subscribe. To it. Is thank that right? you.